Modular synthesizers are pretty complicated and scary. When you get into it, it might take days just to figure out how to get sound out of the thing. You have to like really work hard, you know? It's kind of like, oh, make it to the very top of this mountain and then you'll get some of the knowledge. It's a very odd way of being able to access all the different characteristics of sound. You have to literally take the output of one module, take a wire and plug it into another. And then from there, you could just keep on creating these, these chains. It's like that sound source like went on a journey and is like going to different towns or something that, that's influencing it on the way to its final destination which is the speakers. You don't really need to know how to play any music when you get into modulars. You turn a knob and then you make a sound that you connect with. And you could you know, use sequencers and do like traditional scales, or you could just experiment with stuff that sounds like it's from a alien planet. Sometimes when I'm soldering, I'm just like, why the hell am I doing this? It seems very odd, you know? Like I didn't study any electronics in school or anything, but here I am, like soldering a piece that might like blow up in my face <laughs> as I plug it in. <laughs> There's an excitement to it, you know? Just getting all the pieces in the mail, you know, like let's put it together and let it shine in the studio. When I'm using it live, I feel like I have a deeper connection to it. This stuff can be pretty addictive, you know? There's lots of new things that come out constantly and you know, like 10 years ago, maybe there was 20 manufacturers or something like that. Right now, in 2018, there's probably over like 150 independent manufacturers because it goes from them just wanting to use this stuff for music and then they're building this stuff DIY like I'm doing. Next thing you know, like half a year later, they have their own company because they have ideas to alter sound that might not be out there yet. I don't think you could ever reach the end of the road with this because there's so many people wanting to create new modules that it just keeps changing. Like, you know, when it first started, it was just analog modules that you have a chip that makes a sound. And now people are putting like little mini computers inside of it. A lot of people are getting into modulars that they come from backgrounds of playing instruments, whether it's like banging on drums or like turntablism or playing bass or something like that. And then they get into this and like, okay, how am I supposed to like get all that out with just like turning tiny knobs? So I think uh, in the future, there'll be lots more things that you could play and express just by like banging on something. I think that's one of the things that modular is gonna be doing in the future. A lot of times I think of all these mini sound sources as just like a certain like person in, in the band or something like that. You only have two hands. And so instead of just turning those knobs for those sound parameters, these controlled voltages could be like turning knobs for you basically. And you kind of create these living, breathing machines where you could create like a melody and a beat and stand away from it. And it's kind of taken on a life of its own. It's like you set this monster up and he's your homie or whatever. Then you jump back and it just like starts wilding out by itself. When I use this stuff to play live, it's kind of kind of a gamble because if you're playing on big sound systems, the huge bass will start rumbling and might knock your oscillators out of tune. And there's just so many things that could go wrong, you know? One cable could kind of come out and it messes up your whole clock. So like all your rhythms could go off and there could be 50 cables and you're just like, where is that sound coming from? Why did that stop? You know, so it's like, there's always like this sense of danger that like, things might just shut off at any time and you have to kind of just flow with it. That's kind of what I love about it. Just enjoy your tools, you know, just keep exploring. You don't have to keep on, you know, buying new pieces all the time. And it's like, just, just dive in with what you have. I don't know, I guess that's kind of weird to say when I have this big, big ass system right behind me. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Subscribe to Super Deluxe for more.